Welcome back to this channel. I will give an example of how to drag a container that has been gestured here. You can see an example here. When I click the show button, the container below appears automatically. And you can drag up and down. And when you throw the container down, it will automatically disappear and do a slide down effect, like this. And when I throw it down, then the container will close automatically and do a slide down effect. And when I click show to close, he will also close to the bottom and disappear. Ok. We just make the code. First you have to install flat on your computer. And here I created an empty python file. I created a text widget for title. And one more text for description. And for example in a yellow container you will have two text and one button. I set the width to match your screen width and height to 200. And I give the opacity effect. So that it gives a fading effect when it will appear. And here is animate opacity, which is a smooth effect containing duration and curve. Duration here is how long the effect will run. And curve, is your kind of smoothness and effect. For more details about curves, you can open the Flutter documentation. And I create a container, I fill in it text and description widget on it here. And this container I set to recognize gesture detection. Of course I use gesture detector later. And the size of this yellow colored container. I set it to full width. And I'm going to create a variable called height SCR, which holds and detects the height value of your screen. And I fill in the container widget here. And I create a button. Which governs whether or not this yellow container appears. And now I make a gesture detector. To provide detection to our newly created yellow container. The type of gesture is vertical drag up and down. And when dragging up or down, he will perform the function, which we will do later. And we attach the container variable to this gesture, in the content property section. And we create a stack. Stack here is a widget to create a top stack of widgets on top of it. And when the yellow container appears it will overwrite or be on top of all the pages we create. And to see the results. I will run it first from terminal. To see the results. Ok. There seems to be a bit of an error here. I forgot to define each function. So I have to create that function first.
I first made slide down and slide up effects in this yellow container. As usual for offset transform it sets the x and y axes. So he will appear as we want. E.g. here for x I leave 0. And my x will drop him down, i.e. y is 2. The point is that it shouldn't be 0, or it can be a minus value too. And I will continue here. So when the hide button is clicked, it will slide the yellow container back down. And don't forget to do a page update. When a state change occurs. And now we make it to show modal. The logic is almost the same as before. I.e. when clicked it will shift back up. And don't forget to do page updates. And now for the function of the gesture detector. I.e. to detect whether the container is scrolled up or down. And here I want to make an effect, the text enlarges and shrinks for the title and for the description. When scrolled up it will disappear and leave only the title and hide button. Delta Y is your gesture value, it can be negative or positive. Negative when scrolled up and positive when scrolled down. You can print Delta Y to see what the value of Delta Y is. And here I set it when I scroll up. It will resize the container and add up the current height of the yellow container by Delta Y. And so even when scrolling down, For the logic of this syntax, you can see as follows. And here it looks like it's working. But the opacity effect is not working properly. Of course we have to set this. Let's say you scroll until the height of the yellow container reaches a certain number, for example 200. Then I want to run the animation, the text will shrink and the description will do a subtle opacity and disappear. And the text will grow again, when the height value of the yellow container is below 200. And the description subtly reappears. And here when the delta y value has exceeded 574 for example. He will automatically disappear and do a smooth slide down to the bottom. The way you can simply call the function here. And I just copy it, so it's fast. Here to reduce the size of the title text and its description to its original size. And so that you better understand, by what I mean. I will show the height value of the yellow container, as well as its delta y value. In terminals.
pretty good. But there is a little we have to change. Actually this is working fine. Okay. We'll see what's still wrong. In the show modal function section, when the yellow container will open, I will do the exact value rule, so it won't change when it's closed. Okay. That is enough. I think that's the tutorial I've made for you. This is just an example. You can imagine what you usually do in Flutter. You can pour it in this flat. For those of you who want the code from this tutorial, you can get in the description.